We are back at the Parker Performance YouTube channel, and today we're gonna to be going over the Cobb Access Port. One of our top selling units is obviously the Cobb Access Port because we recommend Cobb uh, products and we recommend PD tuning, and they tune on the Access Port for your EcoBoost Mustang. So we're gonna dive right in. Your box is gonna come with some goodies here. You're gonna get uh, your Cobb Access Port carrying case, and you're gonna get your accessories case, okay? We're gonna set the main box here to the side. Let's start with the accessories box. You're gonna open it from the end. Uh, you're gonna have your OBD2 cable and you're gonna have your windshield mount that comes with alcohol. We'll get to those parts later when we go outside to the car. The main goodness is gonna be in your access port carrying case. So you've got your quick start guide. You got a foam here to protect the, the case because obviously this is the pinnacle possession of the case. That's your access port. Comes with a little Cobb goodie. Thanks to our boys at Cobb for including the keychains for you guys. By the way, if you don't have a Cobb keychain or you've lost yours or it's dirty, any Cobb um, order that's on our pp-fl.com website is coming with new Cobb goodies as well for you. So check out online. You're also gonna get some Cobb stickers um, and then you're gonna get another faceplate which uh, on my personal car, I had the faceplate color matched. Uh, I had a ruby red car, so I had my faceplate painted ruby red. So that way I could run that instead of the OEM gray. And then last but certainly not least, this is going to be your mount so that you can affix her to the previously mentioned holder. Okay, but the main focus today is once you've got your access port, what do you do with it? Well, you've got to get it to the computer. You've got to download your access port manager. You've got to update your access port, and then you got to get your tune files from Ryan at PD Tuning. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and make sure she's up to date. First and foremost, we'll start with the provided USB cable. Now I have had some used, we've probably sold, bought and sold 250 of these over the years um, as uh, used units. Oftentimes these will be missing. Um, you do need to be careful and make sure that if you're replacing it on one that is used or if you damage this, that it does have enough strength to uh, connect to the cob. So you're gonna wanna test it in the computer before you actually commit to using it. Sometimes it won't power this on, the access port manager won't recognize it. So using the provided cord, you're not gonna have that issue. Okay, so once you get it plugged in, you're going to download your access port manager. Once your access port manager is downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to pop it open and then we're gonna check for updates. So let's start that. Open your access port manager. At the first screen, they're gonna load and scan to see if anything's there. Pops up right away. New firmware is available for your access port. Current version 1.74, we're gonna to update to the 1.742. So we're gonna say yes. And then the access port uh, manager will do the rest of the work. Okay, so the access port update was successful. Uh, just gonna have an update result screen here that you just gotta click okay. So now you're in. It's gonna show that you're connected. It's gonna show the firmware here at the top. So you're gonna be all good for that. In the future, if there's any firmware updates, when you plug it in, every time you do a tuning revision or a data log, uh, click here for check for firmware updates if it didn't already do that for you when you plugged it in. As you saw, when we plugged it in, it automatically did it. Um, so from here, uh, for your first time ever, if you don't have a custom tune and you're just running an off-the-shelf tune, um, at this point, the only thing that you're left to do is in the Manage section here, you can select any of the stuff that you want to put on. So for us, we're going to go ahead and do an image real quick because uh, our customers, we preload them with this. Select an image. Desktop Ruckus. Yes. Okay. All right, so we've uploaded our Parker Performance logo to it for a startup screen. And then all you're gonna do here at this point is you're gonna eject the AP and you'll be ready to take it to the car. Okay, so you've already done your setup, you've already done uh, your upload of the updated firmware, and now you're in the car. You're gonna take your OBD2 cable, you're gonna fix the one end to the Cobb access port. It is side specific. You cannot install it the opposite direction. Please be careful as these clips here are quite um, ornery and they will break and you do need to replace them in the event that they break because otherwise it'll be falling in and out of the access port all the time. Then you'll take the other end of the OBD2 port and you'll plug it into your OBD2 uh, port that's underneath the 
left leg area of the driver's side dash, okay? Okay, so you wanna make sure you have your key with you and you'll turn the vehicle off. You're just turning the key into the on position accessory mode. You don't wanna have the vehicle running, it won't work. Um, you can't have the vehicle off, it won't work. Um, so the main thing there is when you're coming in and you're starting this process, just make sure that you're hitting the key to the accessory on position. Now, the access port may or may not automatically turn on. If it does not, at the top right here, you're gonna have a power button that you can uh, select, and then it should fire right up. Now, we go in and make some changes to the settings where we turn auto on, auto off, and uh, that will change it so that in the future, it does automatically turn on and off for you. So, we're gonna dive in now. Okay, so if you have your custom tune, this is where you would upload your PD tuning map. If you're just using an off-the-shelf tune to get started, um, this is where you'll go ahead and select your off-the-shelf map. You're going to confirm that the vehicle matches. Make sure everything is accurate based on the vehicle that you're, you're driving. This is a 2018 up. It is an automatic transmission vehicle, so we're going to tell it yes. In this instance, this vehicle is very, very new. It's very fresh. We're just going to flash a Stage 1 Cobb tune to it. We're not going to use a Stage 2 or a Stage 3 or anything like that yet. Um, this car has just got a air raid tube and a drop-in filter, so we would consider that stage one um, tune. And we don't recommend the off-the-shelf tunes be used for any extended duration of time. Uh, we prefer a custom pro tune as opposed to a can tune. Warning. Hashtag we void warranties. You guys ask us about it all the time. It's going to happen. The next screen after you agree to the warning is telling you about a battery charger. Um, I will say that we have already installed the battery charger on this vehicle. And what I want you to know is that I've probably tuned thousand of these cars. Um, we've only ever had one vehicle fail and you don't ever want that to be your vehicle. Um, it's not a good feeling watching your car get towed away on a flatbed, having to go to Ford to have the PCM redone because it bricked trying to get tuned. So take the precaution, get yourself a jump box, hook it up uh, to a battery charger. Just listen, even if the car is brand new, um, that one time is one time too many. This one's already hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and move forward. You do wanna back up your factory data. You obviously wanna save your stock tune file. This is a 10, 15, 20 minute process. It's gonna break into the uh, PCM. It's gonna download your factory files. That way they'll be stored here on the access port. Um, and then you'll actually get your map flash from either Cobb or PD tuning. So as I said, it's a 10, 15, 20 minute process, all in, all done, and um, you'll be happy you did it. The factory backup is completed. As you can see now, we're back at a uh, early stages of the percentage of completion here. That's because we've moved on now to the flash. You don't have to do anything in this process. It'll automatically switch over from backing up the stock data to uploading the new data. And as you can see, this moves much faster. So William brought us this 2020 Mustang EcoBoost. Uh, we've repaired it with a drop-in air filter. We've prepared it with an air raid intake tube. And now we've flashed the Cobb uh, stage one off the shelf tune. We've gone through the setup with him. We've gone through the parameters. We've gone through the education on what the parameters mean. And uh, now he's going to take this thing home. He's going to make sure octane adjustment ratio hits 1.0, and then he's going to let it eat. And he's going to report back with hopefully nothing but positive reviews. As always, thank you for tuning into the Parker Performance YouTube channel. We appreciate your love, your support, your purchases. Uh, until next time, we'll see you then.